Hey guys, it's Lewis Cooper here. I'm back in the car. Um, my oh, looks like it's cutting off my hair a bit. I do have hair. Um, I've decided to venture back to the cinema. Um, I've had my first vaccine thingy, and it wasn't too long ago, but I'm feeling much more confident now than I did before. I'm going to go see A Quiet Place Part Two in IMAX because I can, and also it's a bigger room, so I'll feel less uh, enclosed there, and I can keep my mask on and stuff. So this is my first venture out into the world, other than work, in many respects. So. It's a big, a big step. This is actually the third time I booked to see this film. I booked to see it in early 2020, but obviously that didn't happen. And I booked to see it a couple of weeks ago, a uh, preview screening, and I kind of you know, didn't really feel it in the end. So this is the third time I've booked it, and I feel, I feel more confident now to go to the cinema and be around humans again. Like I say, I've been around people at work all the time, so it's not that big a deal. But I thought I'd do a little, little vlog kind of thing. Like I'm not actually going to film in the cinema and that because I'm not that guy, but um. Yeah, so this is me about to go in. I'll probably do a little video in the car um, afterwards, just my in, in immediate thoughts, and then I'll be back in the room and do one, um, uh, do a non-spoiler review. I think I'll do a spoiler review, because I imagine there's a lot of people probably haven't seen this yet. So yeah, let's go. Obviously, I've got my face mask, because I'm a responsible adult. Thank you. I just hate people. Um, my immediate thoughts, the film was good. It was good being back in the cinema. It was good being in IMAX. Um, but people are just stupid, um, and I hate them. Um, but, yeah, um, you know, I, there wasn't that many people in there. So I chose IMAX, big room, and then people came in and had to sit behind me because, of course, they did. I think they did. They might have been a little bit further back. I'm not sure. Um, and then, like, an older couple came in and sat not near me, but near enough to where I could hear them talking all the way through. Um, not like talking, talking, just, you know, just going, oh, that's not very nice. Or, you know, oh, that's, that's a, that's a problem. Like just commenting on the film. And then afterwards the woman, oh, do you know, what? I'm not even going to get into that because it's just going to annoy me too much. You, you're not here for that. Oh, cinema's back. <laughs> anyway, um, come with me in the room and we will discuss the film. And we're back. I've um, flipped the camera around. I've got a new camera, so the video quality should be much better, hopefully. But I've flipped it around, so this is what the other side of my room looks like if you're used to my normal videos. But actually, to be fair, I've only recently put these posters up. I've got my, um, should I go that way, a brand new Wonder Woman 84 poster, which I absolutely love. Um, so that's cool. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, here we are in the room. Um, I have calmed down a bit since the previously discussed uh, video clip. Um, yeah, the most ridiculous thing happened um, as the film finished, and the people who I said before—I can't remember what I said now—but they were talking a bit through the film and commenting on stuff, which always annoys me. But you know, it's whatever. It's the cinema. It's what you you get used to. Um, and then when they left, they were in the row behind me to my right, a bit further along, so they weren't really that near me. But a woman. The woman came up to me, like she walked along my aisle, and I was like, "Did she see me, like, kind of tutting as you do in a British way?" Kind of going, "Will they just keep it down, or like what?" And she walked right up to me and started touching the seat next to me, and it was really weird. I was like, "Are you okay?" And she went, "Oh, I'm just looking for my mask." And I was like, "How? How would her mask be over here? From one thing, why isn't it on her face? And how would it? Like, I guess she dropped it." But she was like, oh, have I come down the wrong aisle? And I was like, yes, I wasn't I wasn't sitting here all the way through the thing. What are you doing? And like, she obviously she was a mask. She was so close to me, I could smell her chewing gum. And I was like, brilliant, thank you. Like, you know, they were older people, but just annoying. Like, yeah. Anyway, the film. So I thought the film was good. Um, I liked the first one quite a bit. Um, and I liked this one as well. Um, I I won't go into any spoilers, so no spoilers here. I mean, if you want to go in completely fresh, then just don't watch this video. Um, but yeah, I I think I didn't like as much as the first one, but not in a bad way. It just kind of it's uh, that's the way it goes. Um, it was really nice being back in the cinema again. I will say that, as I said previously, like and it was the opening kind of kind of action scene. And I'd say this is more of an action movie than a horror movie, really, but. That was just really nice to see. Like there was a bit that like made me jump just because it was loud and I was still getting used to the IMAX um, and the being back in a big screen in general. And that was really cool. I was like, yes, this is this is the stuff. 
Um, a couple of bits that you've already seen in the trailer as well. Um, but yeah, I I thought it was good. Um, I I was expecting it to be slightly different. I was I was thinking, you know, it's a sequel. There's more money, which you can tell in places. I'm not sure how much more, but you know, it wasn't. It wasn't. It's no low budget affair, but it was kind of. I thought we'd be much more broad, I thought we'd introduce a lot more characters and we'd be quite as enclosed as the first film was. I mean, not that that's what I was hoping for, that's just what I thought it would be. But this is quite a small scale as well, um, which again, I have no problem with, I think it works best that way. Because I think this premise, um, I think you can only really do so much with it, and I think the first film nailed that pretty well. Um, this wasn't as quiet as the first one, but that's, that's fine, because I feel like that kind of, not gimmick, but that sort of like theme could kind of wear thin after a while um but it's uh yeah i think it well i think they balanced it well between um the bits that were really quiet and the exciting action bits as well um like i said i don't really feel like it was a horror movie as such like there were you know there were some pretty gruesome bits like there were in the first film not quite to that same extent but might be some spoilers from the first film when i'm talking about it but i'm assuming that you've seen that if you're watching this so I thought the cast was really good. Uh, I really liked the kids in it from the first one, Noah Jupe and Millicent Simmons. I think their name. I think they're the they're the best thing about. It. I think they're really good. Um, I like Emily Blunt. She's not in this one quite as much. Just like no reason, but I think she just um, it's uh, kind of silly. And Murphy's character kind of replaces John Krasinski from the first one, and um, I like him a lot. Like he's very popular now because I think he's in Peaky Blinders. I say I think I know he is, but I've never watched it. Um, and I've always liked him, I mainly know him for like, the Batman movies and stuff like that, and I, I can't really think, why is he not in more big movies really, like, he kind of, I know he's in the Inception as well, but like, um, you know, you would have think he'd been, he's been around for such a long time now, you think he'd be in bigger things, but you know, he's he's perfectly good in this, I like him, um, and there's a few other people that pop up, I won't say, no, no one like Massive, I wouldn't say they're cameos, but there's some really good notable actors that kind of pop up in smaller roles as it goes along, um, as I said before, it doesn't, shy away from being a bit kind of gruesome in places kind of thing like and uh it's so it's only 15 so it's not overly violent or bloody or anything but it, it you know it covers the covers the bases quite well also if you've seen the trailers you know that you get it's kind of a little bit of not a prequel but you kind of get a little bit of before everything went wrong kind of thing um and it then begins where the first literally where the first movie ended like the exact same moment um and it does quite a good job of filling in the gaps and I hadn't seen the first one since it came out so a good couple of years at least probably a few years now and uh, it I kind of went oh yeah that's that and that's that and that's that and they kind of do that and they go right let's crack on um, I wouldn't say you could not have seen the first film and enjoy this as much it, it doesn't really work like that but at the same time it's pretty cool um, I really like the aliens I wasn't too fussed about them in the first one I thought they were just you know they were what they were but then you always get that in horror movies when you don't see the creature for a while and then when you do eventually see them it's kind of never really as good as you anticipate like like the, you know it's the jaws thing like the the fear is in the anticipation it's not so much when you actually see the creature or creatures but i think they're pretty cool i guess they put a bit more more into them this time i, I haven't really done like a comparison but i thought they looked cool and they were very well detailed and animated and stuff like that so they they were cool um we don't get any kind of explanation as to where they're from or anything like that and i quite i quite like that i think i didn't i didn't expect that even they didn't do it in the first one i love it in particular in a horror film or in a sci-fi film when they just don't over explain things like you know if this was a some films if it was a lesser film you'd probably go oh this is where the aliens came from and this is why they're here and this is it and you just explain too much and you just kind of lose something so they're just they're just there and they're menacing and you find out like one thing about them which is kind of relevant to the plot but isn't you know isn't uh, shattering doesn't take away any of their kind of mystique but I, I like their their whole thing i think it's pretty cool um yeah so all in all it wasn't a bad trip back to the cinema apart from the um aforementioned other people but yeah so one other thing was uh one of the people who's annoying me his phone went during one of the bits where it's from the young girl's perspective because she's deaf and they cut there's only, there's only a couple of bits where there's no sound at all like normally it's pretty quiet but there's some bits where it's just you're going through her experience um and that the ghost phone went and i was like come on mate you ruined this for us here uh and also there was 
the the ceiling in the IMAX room made noise quite a lot. So during some of the quiet bits, that was weird, where the ceiling was kind of rattling a bit, and that was strange. But you know, whatever. Um, all in all, I quite enjoyed the film, and it was nice being back in the in the cinema. It was perfect length film as well. I think it's an hour and thirty seven minutes, so it didn't overstay its welcome. There was kind of a midpoint where I was like, okay, this is what the film's going to be like. It's not. It's not quite as broad scope as I expected, and that kind of went. There was, there was that point where I was kind of going, oh, okay, maybe this isn't going to be as good as I was hoping. But there's a, quite a few sort of action pieces in the latter part of the film and the ending kind of thing, uh, where it's covering kind of a few different things at once, like multiple things happening at the same time in different places, and it does it really well. Like it really that manages to kind of mirror each thing that's going on, and you know exactly what's going on each kind of, each bit. So. So written and directed by John Krasinski as well, so it's really, really skillful for a guy who I don't think has directed that much. I don't, I don't know if he's done anything other than this actually, but, um, but yeah, I think if you're, you know, if you're feeling comfortable to go to the cinema and you're, you're vaccinated and all that and you want to do it, then absolutely go for it um, and have a good time. Uh, if you're waiting until it comes out at home, then great, that's cool as well. I think you'll enjoy it too. Um, but yeah. That is my review of A Quiet Place Part 2. Thank you very much.